Hey friends, it's me, Kayla Friday, and welcome back to my channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. I hope you all have had an amazing week and that you've been very blessed and that you've got some good rain if you needed it and some sunshine if you needed it. Come here, Buster. Come say hello to your fans. Come here, or they're gonna wonder where you're at. Y'all see Buster, he's doing good. Every time he's not in a video, everybody's worried but he's always taken care of and he's always just doing great. Sometimes he just is off taking a nap or he's outside playing or just doing dog things, but he does stay right up next to me most of the time. But anyway, I hope you all had a very good week. Today we have a super, super fun video for you guys. We were able to go this past weekend to one of my favorite junkin' friends, Miss Angie Barnett. You've heard me talk about her several times here on the channel, um, but she has been a junk collector for years. Her and her mother have been going junkin' for decades and they have just a massive collection and um, a couple of times a year they have barn sales or as she calls it the corn crib sale she has just a little small building that she calls the corn crib that she has set up antiques in and that's where she often has her sales so i decided that i would take you guys along with me just to show you a small glimpse of her collection because she has an additional small house that is just completely vintage. Everything in it is vintage and it is just breathtaking. You would absolutely just die if you saw it. It is gorgeous and hopefully one day we'll be able to go and check that out. But anyway, I wanted to take you along with me for that. Um, and also we went to Rustic Relics that day, so I'll show you a few booths there. And I'm gonna share with you everything that I purchased. And also at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you some snippets of how we have actually used these various items in decorating. My Aunt Penny and my Aunt Kim went with me. You've met them several times too, and we all love junkin'. So I'm gonna show you a small clip of my Aunt Penny's absolutely breathtaking front porch and how she's incorporated all of her fun finds and also how I've incorporated a few things. So if you're interested in seeing all this awesome footage, stick around, and then at the end of the video, we'll do a haul. Hey. Good morning. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs>
friend, Angie Barnett. She's one of my junkin' buddies. I love her channel, and I'm honored that she's put me on there. And I usually do this about twice a year, so if you're ever in Alabama, watch for her page. Maybe she'll tag me in it. Yes, I will. All Angie, right. how long have you been junkin'? Oh, gosh. Come here, Mama. <laughs> Mama, come here. <laughs> Mama, Mama's camera shot. My mother... My mother's in her 70s, so I would say probably when I was in my probably early 20s, so she gave me the addiction yes, for junkin'. So I, I can, love it. I can blame her and so can my husband when I eat. Well, Angie, we love all your stuff, thank and thank you. you for letting us stop in.
not literally the best sale that you've ever seen. They have so many good pieces. And like I said, that's just a fraction of their collection. Um, when they are preparing for these sales, they take months and months just pulling from their um, inventory. Um, like I said, they are actually just collectors. They don't really do this for a job. It's just a way for them to basically clear out inventory and make space for more junk and just to kind of feel their uh, addiction to junking. <laughs> so, um, but it's so much fun. They're absolutely wonderful people. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all that awesome footage and actually getting to meet the Queen of Junk and herself, Angie Barnett. But without further ado, let's jump into my haul. Like I said, some things I am going to actually show you because I've put them out already. And um, my Aunt Penny, her haul, I'll show you that as well, just in how she actually incorporated it in her decor. But the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is this set of vintage oval frames. They're absolutely beautiful. I paid $5 for the set of these. And that's another thing, Angie's prices are amazing. She is so affordable, um, but like I said, she doesn't, you know, she does it just locally out of her home and she doesn't ship or anything like that. But if you are local to Alabama here or you're willing to make the drive, I'll make sure to try and share the dates for the next sales. But I have this beautiful set of frames. Like I said in the press view videos, I really do want to do a gallery wall behind me where our cathedrals are. So I'm steadily picking up things that I think would be pretty on a gallery wall. The next thing I purchased, and this was $10, is this really large, beautiful tray. It's a like a TV dinner tray that you can sit, obviously, um, on your bed. I thought it would be gorgeous for staging our home or also maybe for doing a little tablescape, but it's just beautiful. It's made of wood. It's nice and chippy, and I thought it would just be a great addition for every season, um, and especially like for our home tours, um, whenever I have my home stage for you guys, or like I said, maybe doing a really cute tablescape. The next thing I purchased, and this was $8. Like I said, her prices are really good. It is just an old metal piece. I thought it was really pretty um, to put maybe some plants in. I thought it would be gorgeous to put a planner or to make a planner out of or even for like parties, it would be absolutely beautiful as a centerpiece with different like candies or cupcakes or chips, whatever you wanna do, just put like some um, parchment paper in there and line it with food. Or it would also be beautiful um, in a flower bed. It would be beautiful as, a t uh, as part of a tablescape. There's just so many options for this piece and I just absolutely love it. It would also be gorgeous to connect some chain to this top and make like a hanging basket, a hanging basket. So if you see anything like this, grab it because the options are endless. Okay. The next thing I purchased, this was $2. It is this beautiful Star Spangled Banner um, vinyl. So this is an old record and I thought it would just be absolutely Precious stuck somewhere out in the house for this season. You know I love America and I'm a patriotic girl. I don't currently have a record player um, that's vintage. We have one that's like a modern record player that we got from Walmart, but I would love a vintage record player to display. But I just loved this and thought it was so cute. And it was only two bucks. Okay, just one second. I gotta come over here <laughs> and get my stuff. Okay. I got also some really cute vintage readers. These were a dollar a piece. Angie is a retired school teacher, so she was able to get lots of neat books that were passed down from other teachers and things like that. Um, but this is just some really cute, a really cute little set of readers. And I also got Betsy's Little Star. I thought it was just precious. And again, a dollar. And I thought this would be cute displayed for 4th of July summer. And then I got these. They're not in the best shape, but um, they do, they're do. repaired with some duct tape. But I had to get them because it says down the river road. And you know, our channel is called Little Cahaba Junkin. In case you don't know why it's called Little Cahaba Junkin, my husband and I 
have been together for many years and we um one of our favorite pastimes is actually going to the little cahaba river we actually went this last weekend the weekend before that we're going again this weekend usually once a week we go to the little cahaba and float the river um, and just sit out in the sun all day and swim and we take our dog Whoop, buster <laughs> buster just hit the camera but we take our dog and our dog that we used to have always love to go and canoe but it's literally our favorite pastime and so many of our memories are on the little cahaba and um we would love to eventually have some property somewhere on the little cahaba but that's why we're called little cahaba junkin and that's why i had to purchase these down the river road because the road that we take going to the little cahaba is called um little river lane or little river road <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I purchased is this beautiful brass bell. I thought it was just adorable. I don't have anything like this, and I thought it would be so cute displayed just somewhere in our home. It might be really cute up on the mantel, or my husband can use it to summon me <laughs> if he needs me for anything. I'm just teasing. Okay, just a couple more things to show you here. I also got this adorable set of these little vintage geese or ducks. I guess they're ducks. Anyway, yeah, ducks, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. These little vintage ducks, they're just wooden and I thought they were just adorable. I may end up putting them outside. I might put them in our house. I don't know, but I don't really buy things all the time just um, to put in a particular place if I get it and it's affordable. Or if I love it and it's affordable, I just purchase it. <laughs> and that's how I end up with so much stuff. The next thing I got was this adorable wooden mallard. He's just precious. He's a little duck decoy. And I loved him. And he's going to be adorable just sitting somewhere out in our home. And I love his eyes. Ooh, I don't know if it'll focus. But they're so cute. And he's just adorable. I don't know where I'll put him, but I'll find a place. The next thing I got, and this was $3. Oh, and the duck was $3. And I believe the set of geese was $8. Like I said, amazing prices. So this old hoe here was $3. It's a very small little garden hoe. And I thought this would be so cute to put on my mantle for fall like a little harvest theme. What you think? Can you see my vision? I think it's adorable. Also, if you ever break in my house as an intruder, I will cut you with my little garden. <laughs> I'm just chasing. Okay. Couple more things here. So I got this really pretty set of old rolling pins. These were $3 a piece, which is really good because most of the time rolling pins at vintage markets or at booths are like upwards of $10, which is crazy. So I purchased three and Aunt Penny purchased two. But I have, I think maybe five, and I thought this would be adorable sitting in a wire basket in my kitchen somewhere, just kind of displaying a collection of them. Okay, last couple of things. So I got these little pieces of architectural salvage. They were $3 a piece. They do have nails on the bottom, so I got to um, cut those off, but I thought those would be absolutely adorable just standing somewhere, um, or they could be cute um, just props in a tray. Um, you could also make like some candle sconces or something out of them, but I always buy architectural salvage if I can, and it's affordable because um, it's really popular right now. The last thing I'm gonna share with you is this cute little peach basket. My Aunt Kim actually um, gave this to us. She purchased it on the longest yard sale and she got me one, my Aunt Penny one, and she also got us several little small ones. So um, that was super sweet of her and I'm so thankful because if you don't know, Clayton, Alabama where I live is the peach capital of the South, not George. <laughs> Buster say we love peaches. Buster will eat a good peach cobbler soon this summer. But anyway, that's everything that I have just to show you here on camera. Everything was purchased from Angie Barnett's. 
I actually didn't purchase anything from Rustic Relics this time, but I still wanted to show you some of the footage in case you come to the area. I know several of you have told me that you're planning on making a trip, so I just kind of wanted to give you a glimpse into their stock right now. But here at the end of the video, I'm gonna go in and show you some clips of my front porch and also my aunt's front porch, which is just absolutely stunning. You're gonna love it. I have a little bitty baby front porch. My dream is to have like a wraparound porch where I can just put all kinds of junk. But she has a very long porch and she has such gorgeous displays and you're gonna love it. So, but before we get to that, I do just wanna say thank you so much for tuning into our channel and supporting all of our videos. I really appreciate it. And I also do have a prayer request for you guys. If you're a believer and you don't mind, just please send up a prayer for my precious mama. Her name is Debbie Scott. Um, she has been dealing with insomnia for a really long time. She hasn't been able to sleep and it's just taken a toll on her life. Um, she's just so weak and tired and I'm not used to that. I'm used to my mama being a go-getter and being full of energy. So just pray for her and pray that they find out what's going on. Um, I know she's also anemic um, and as a nurse, you know, I'm, I'm staying on top of it, but y'all just pray for her and lift her up to the Lord that she'll just feel better and that he'll touch her and just, you know, give her strength and peace. Also, I have had a subscriber that's keeping me in the loop on her precious granddaughter. Her name is Parker. Um, and the Lord knows her need. She is dealing with some health issues. I ask that you also please just remember her in your prayers. Um, it doesn't matter if you know the people or not. God knows the person in the situation. Just lift them up and ask that God will just intervene in their lives. And I pray that whatever is going on in your life, that, um, that you'll have your prayers answered soon. If you have any prayer requests, always feel free to drop them in the comments. I know a lot of our subscribers are Christians and are people of faith, um, and we'll just lift you up in prayer. And I just appreciate, again, you supporting our channel. Enjoy the footage at the end, and be blessed, and I'll see you next time. So coming up on my porch, please ignore my old door. I need to paint it. But I got these beautiful terracotta pots and this cute glass jar at Angie Sale and have it styled on this really pretty wicker basket that I got from House of Five. And then over here, this large pot and also this vintage high chair came from Angie's. And I just have it tucked here for now. And I think it turned out adorable. And now we're at Aunt Penny's house and her porch, y'all, is so beautiful. I'm so jealous. She also got an adorable high chair here from Angie's and I think she has it styled just beautifully. She has so much good stuff, y'all. I just love it all. We've got this area styled for the fourth. This big beautiful jug that her flags are nestled in came from Angie's. And that big pretty chalkboard came from my house that originally came from Angie's a couple of years ago. We just pass it all around, guys. Another beautiful vignette. This tricycle and several of these terracotta pots came from Angie's and they're all just styled so beautifully. Penny has the front porch goals, guys. I love it. And finally, this beautiful red wagon came from Angie's sale. Penny has done so good this year, guys. Thank you for tuning in and happy junkin'. We love you so much. See you next time.